So in this video, we're going to be looking at buttons. So buttons are fairly simple. Um, we're dragging a button in. It's pretty obvious what a button is for. You click on a button, it sends you to either another part of the website or it sends you to some other part of the internet. So you're adding a hyperlink. So we're going to be looking at hyperlinks and options on hyperlinks on the button. But remember, you can add links to anything really on your website. So um, you can link it to images. You can link it to parts of text. So uh, adding a hyperlink is something you can do other parts other than just buttons, although buttons are an obvious place for people to click. So looking at buttons, first of all, um, let's drag a button into the site. Buttons, you'll have various options. You'll, um, you'll have four options on a Weebly site. So the button styles are here. Two small buttons, two large buttons of different styles. Now on some of the themes you can change the color styles and on other themes you can't. So um, normally when you change the theme color it's reflected in the button. So if you can change the theme color you can probably change the button. Um, and then button text. So you can put whatever you like in the button, in the button text area. Button style we've already looked at, how you change the style. Um, the theme, when you go, if you, if you go back to theme and look at buttons, you'll be able to change the text size and whether it's uppercase or not and whether it's regular or bold and the type of font. Some themes will let, will change the button color when you change the theme color, but I don't think this theme will do that, but some will. So then back out of themes and back into build. So clicking on the box again, and we go to link. So link is, um, this is where we look at the various options we've got open to us. So we've got web URL. So that is the, any URL of any web page in the world. Okay. So you can click it in there and then it will link and take you to that URL from that button. So that's the first option we've got. So the next uh, next option we've got is standard page. So on this, what we've got is every page on our, every standard page on our website. So a, a blog post is not a standard page, it's a blog post. And a product or a category of products is not a standard page, it's a product or a category of products. Um, but any other page on the website is a standard page. So your home page, the shop itself, um, the blog itself, or an about page, contact page, whatever. Those are all standard pages. So all you have to do with this is click on that page and link it. You don't have to remember the URL. You just click on the page and link it. And if then, before you publish, if you change the URL in the SEO at the end, it won't matter. It'll still go to that page because it's an internal uh, navigation. So um, as if it's an internal page and you click on shop, it'll always go to the shop, no matter what the shop is actually called, uh, which is, I think, quite useful. And then to unlink it, you click the blue and it just unlinks again. Okay. Then we've got product page and blog post. So this is really useful. Um, product page and blog post. So you can have a link on a button to a product page. So if you want to buy something and a blog post is useful if you want to refer people to more information on something that you have got. Uh, and that is buttons.